Hi guys, Miss A uh, requested that I make a video on how to do the hair for the 2016-17 show. This year, it's similar to last year. The only difference is that it's going to be on the crown of your head rather than the very top. So if you want to go back and look at last year's video, you're more than welcome. Just realize that it's going to be a different part of your head, okay? So what you're going to need, obviously, a brush. Okay, these are the big thing that you need. Sock buttons, right? I got this one, uh, I guess last year, because I had really short hair, probably up to here. So no excuses that you can't do it. Everyone can do it. Um, but buy a sock bun based off of the size of the amount of hair you have. Like, see how small this is by the comparison of my hand? And then I have this one, which is a lot bigger. It was from years before, it's pretty torn up. Um, so just do it off the base, the length, and the thickness of your hair. It's pretty easy to guesstimate. They kind of stretch out if you buy one that's too small, so it'll be fine. Um, put that over there. Aside from that, bobby pins. Always, 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 always have extra bobby pins, because whether you need it or somebody else need it, somehow you're bound to run out. Every single year, I buy a huge pack of bobby pins, and they're gone before like the first month um so make sure you have a huge pack of bobby pins probably like something small to hold them in i have like a little bag that i sorry a little bag that i hold my bobby pins in here's from krista um have hair ties you need hair ties 24 7 i'm not giving all of this out to you guys <laughs> all right and if you have really short hair I recommend buying hair nets. This used to be mandatory, it's not anymore. Um, but hair nets, it's literally like the thing that a lens ladies wears, like, yeah. So this is gonna be wrapped around your bun. I'll probably put it on my bun at the end just so you guys can see. Um, really easy thing, you just wrap it like a hair tie. And um, make sure that you use mousse if you need to slick your hair back. I'm not gonna use any products just because I just got out of the shower and that would be a waste. Um, and hairspray, always, always, always hairspray. 100% want to like slick away the flyaways and all of that. This one's a pretty good one. It's not necessarily cheap. It's for Tease, uh, Sleek and Shine. Uh, right? All right, so let's get into it. So first things first, you're gonna wanna brush your hair up into a high pony. Basically, so like if we cut off your bun, you'd look bald. Looks pretty flat to me. Right. You're gonna throw that into a nice little ponytail. My hair is thicker than it looks, so I like to do two ponytails, um, which will <laughs> start to hurt your head. But if it's hurting your head by the end of the game, that means that you did. Good, because you pulled your hair nice and tight. Right, there's my second ponytail. Just any bumps that are still there. Like, there's kind of a bump. Um, just take your brush and go over it and towards the ponytail. And don't do this after you have the bun in, because if you do it now, and you attack it, and <laughs> stick it all down and everything, you'll be able to not see the little bumps that I'll make at the very edge towards the ponytail. There's me little bumps there because it's all being smoothed out into that area, but your bun will cover it, okay? Best friends, okay? Right here. I used to have the bottom chunks of my hair fall out of my bun because they're too short. The easiest way I find to prevent that is you're gonna take bobby pins and make X's with your bobby pins and put them through your hair. So you're gonna do this one by one. You'll pull up one direction. It's gonna be on a diagonal. Take another up to your opposite diagonal. And this is going to be the best way to lock in your bobby pins and keep your 
Did the hairs from falling out of your bun? So now the baby hairs are all covered. Ooh, I always hit my lip. Okay. You literally have to attack your bun with bobby pins, okay? So you're gonna go in. I usually start at the front and start with the base, all right? So you're gonna tuck and try to go through your hair tie. I feel like that's what really keeps them secure is going from your hair and you could feel the bobby pin go through the hair tie. All right? And just do this all the way around your sock bun. If you're shaking your head, <laughs> just, if you're shaking your head and you could feel a bun move, it's wrong. One thing I forgot to add on was uh, the hair net. So if you are having trouble with a whole bunch of flyaways like sticking out of your um, sock bun a hairnet is probably going to be your best option so what you'll do is you'll open it as wide as you can and slide it and like a hair tie wrap it around making sure the bait the thickest part is on the base of your bun and then you're going to flip just like a hair tie This is our hair. All right. Please try that before next Friday when our first performance comes, okay? Thanks, guys.